Hey yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is video number 356. Memoir number six. Today's memoir is why am I even doing this? Why? Well, the answer is very simple. I'm not necessarily doing this for the YouTube money, although I'll take it if it comes. I'm not doing this for my brand or to create a personality on the internet. I'm simply recording my face, my thoughts, my feelings almost daily because I am doing this for my future bloodline. My kids, my grandkids, my great grandkids, my great great grandkids, all the above. <clears throat> and everyone that comes after me, I, I want them to know who their dad, granddad, great granddad, great great granddad, great 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 granddad, yada yada yada. I want them to know who I was, my thoughts on things. Hopefully I end up very impressive <laughs> so they won't be dissing me when they watch these videos. But I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for y'all. So So if y'all <laughs> So if y'all see this in the future, I'm doing this for y'all. So but why? Why exactly? Well, because life, as we all come to know, is really, really short. And the funny thing about that is that life can also be pretty, pretty long. And I say that because, first off, life is short in that time flies by fast. I talked couple of memoirs back about how my undergrad was super super fast and a blur and I didn't really get to do the things I wanted to do um, and there are things that I regret um, just because one I didn't do them or I couldn't do them or I was just so depressed and stressed out that I couldn't do it but also when it comes to things that just aren't that like life changing like going to college time just flies by man like making ends meet making sure your family eats making sure that your spouse and your kids and your household's provided for like we spend all our days and hours like most of our lives are working and making money for other people trying to make money for ourselves, trying to build for our family. And then one day, we're just not here. And people, they mourn you, they remember you, they celebrate you for, what, three to four hours on a Saturday or a Friday. And then they bury you or cremate you. And then they bring you back up and remember you on holidays. I mean, life is fragile. Life is fickle, man. Like, you're here one day and then gone the next. And I'm just talking in general. Most people will, will do that to you. It won't be people who really feel that pain of you being gone, who really feel you not being gone. But everyone else... I'd say a good 80% of those people that go to your funeral, they gonna remember you that day and then on holidays and maybe every once in a while, but other than that, their life goes on. And I'm not saying that they should be mourning you constantly and they should be in constant grief and you know, that their life shouldn't go on, but that just goes to show how quickly people move on. like. It's crazy. It's crazy. And people get so consumed in their job and if they die, the job will send a very 
commemorative sad email out and then replace you next week, man. So I say that to say, first off, I'm making this so, one, I can be immortalized. I want people to know who I was, know who I am, know what I stood for, and not speak for me when I'm gone. I want to be able to tell you what I thought, when I thought it, how I've changed, how I stayed the same, what I want other people to know. That's why. Because this is going to sound corny, but I was doing research on that good old Broadway musical Hamilton, and the original tagline, when they had the original title, was, who lives, who dies, and who gets to tell your story? And I know people may, may think it's corny. Oh, it's a Broadway show. Hamilton's dope, by the way. But that line, that tagline really spoke to me. Because, man, like, we all live. We all die. But, man, literally anybody can tell your story. People who didn't even know you can say anything they want. Because you're not there to defend yourself. People who loved you can say anything you want without you def anything they want without you defending yourself being able to defend yourself like so I'm doing this not only for my offspring and my bloodline but also because I want people to know that I had my own thoughts my own feelings my own records and I want people to remember me but I don't think I want people to speak for me when I'm gone I think I want my words to be etched in stone and remembered off that and I don't want people to misinterpret my words or to use my words for an opposite purpose than I meant it or for their own agenda I want my words to be here now and used appropriately used how I meant them and I want my kids and my grandkids and future generations that come from me, I want them to follow suit. And hopefully, hopefully I become this great, amazing, history-making, just mesmerizing historical figure. But if I don't, even if I just end up regular degular, I want people to know that this regular degular guy had his own thoughts, his own feelings. He wasn't part of some monolith. He wasn't just part of some idea. He was an individual with dreams, aspirations, beliefs, ideologies, creeds, identities. I want people to know that. I think I deserve it and I think everyone deserves it. So that's 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 my whole spiel on life being short. But you know, I want people to understand that life can be long too. And I don't mean like, oh, it was a long day. Oh man, I've been here forever. Like, I've been very, very worried about my career and my creative space. When you're watching this years later, you may recognize my name from films, TV, music credits, and you may not. You may not know my name. The point is, I've been trying to get into my creative endeavors, whether it's whether you want to call it content creating or acting in music or entertainment or media, whatever you're calling it in whatever year you're watching this in. You know, I've been trying to get that since since I was a kid, and you know, I had all these goals, casual goals, and maybe that's why they never popped off. But I had all these casual, quote unquote, realistic goals that I was kind of holding myself back on because I was afraid to go all in, and I was kind of lying to myself and calling myself realistic. But nonetheless. These goals that I had haven't really manifested. You know, I'm 25. I am getting a master's degree. 
uh, from a very well-known university, at least in my field, it's well-known. And, you know, I was, I was hoping, you know, to have all these, all this money and all these contacts and networks and, you know, in my creative endeavors, you know, that I can network with, build with, create with, invite to weddings, graduations, things like that, man. Like, I just had all these, <laughs> these uh, interesting scenarios that I made up in my head. But, although we all know the entertainment industry, creative industries, we'll just call them creative industries, I like that better. Although we all know creative industries are very, almost lottery based, you know. I have what, a good 70, 60 maybe, years to really get where I want to be. And yes, I know that, that that's the maximum, that's the full spectrum because there's not too many 90 year old creatives usually they're they've made their money and made their mark on their their art and they're retired and people are using them for consulting but I say that to say is that life is short when you're just living day by day when you're just trying to make it but life is long and you have a lot of time left when you're trying to reach your aspirations. You know, I'm only 25. I have a tons of years left to get where I want to be. You might be 50, 40. Even then, at 40, you have a good what? 40 more years? 50? You have a good what? 30, 40 more years? Like, man. And those 40 years and those 50 years might have came by quick. Might have came by so quick. But use that time to really hustle now. Those 20 years made it came by quick. Use use the next 20 to hustle. Use the next 20 to grind. Use the next 40 to grind. Use the next 50 to grind. Use the next 60 to grind. Like we all and I'm not trying to be motivational speaker mode right now cuz they extra. I love a good motivational speech, but man, <laughs> those career motivational speakers they extra. But there's 24 hours in a day. And let, we could be realistic. We're, we could be realistic. Let's say you work eight. What, 16 left? Let's say two to three, just caring for your family, cooking dinner, making beds, brushing teeth. Okay. So what, now we got 12? Okay. Let's say on average most people sleep in six hours. Okay, six. So out of that 24, let's say you got six free hours. Six free hours in a day. That you could split up. You can you can divide it. You don't have to use the toll, the whole six at once. But let's say you have six free hours in a day to really work on your hustle and your grind. And people pe people look at hustle and grind. They think it's always something for the creative industry. No, it could be your personal. It could be something personal to you. Whether you want to work, whether you want to hustle and grind for your relationship, hustle and grind for your faith, hustle and grind for your education, hustle and grind for your nine to five. Hustle and grind for your creativity. Hustle and grind, did I already say family? Hustle and grind for your family, for your kids. Maybe you want to be closer and make more strides with your kids and make more strides with your significant other, your spouse, your partner. Like people in 20, this is done in 2019, you can see the date. People always assume that that hustle and grind mentality is only meant for people who are trying to be a millionaire making their own business or trying to be a millionaire being the next hot entertainment person. But like, you can hustle and grind and strive to achieve a higher accomplishment in anything. In anything. And so that's why I say, man, you got a lot of time. You got a lot, but you have to have a balance and understanding that you have a lot of time, but you have to complete things with urgency with urgency you have to complete things with urgency because life can be taken in a minute i live in the united states and our guns are not controlled our food is not the healthiest our medical care is not the best 
<laughs> what else can kill you? Um, <laughs> our medicines, our pharmaceuticals are not the best. And me personally, but also just in general, health is not the best. And any of us, me included, can can pass on, as they say, into the essence immediately. Thanos snap immediately. Um, and then it's over. And your legacy is left by what you left behind. Whether that was pain and suffering or love and compassion and adoration. If you bless people in your life, And then your story. Well, not everyone wants to vlog or create memoirs or write a book. So your memory is, your story rather, is based on other people's memories of you. How you treated them. What you did for them. What impacts you left. And that's where we get full circle behind who lives, who dies, and who gets to tell your story. Because if you don't leave a record of your thoughts, feelings, ideology, and I'd argue if you don't leave a public record, a public record of your thoughts, feelings, ideologies, then people with good or bad intentions can take all of your experiences, all of your hard-earned, well-lived experiences and use them for their own gain or hopefully use them to honor you. So I know this one, this particular memoir was a little deep, but I thought it was important. Um and maybe this would have been more timely doing this on my 100th memoir where you know, people are got all these views and all these subscribers and nah, nah, nah. Because this ain't about that. It, it's about it's about something bigger. It's about my story. It's about my life. It's about it's about how I was in this world. And man, I, <laughs> in theory, man, I wish I could have done this <laughs> back when I first learned how to work a computer because I would have loved to have told you all my thoughts and feelings when I was a kid but man shout out to those young ones out there already using social media and YouTube to, to tell their story but point is man like this video isn't really meant to encourage anybody to start vlogging or to start writing a book or anything but if, if you do that whew, more power to you God bless but more so this is this is really for People listening and wondering, you know, what do I do with the time I have left? Or maybe I have a lot of time left and, and I don't know what to do with it or I'm stressed out about it. But or maybe this is for my kids, my grandkids. Years later in, in, in 2019, they, or rather in 20 whatever, hell, maybe 30 whatever, they want to look back and know who I was and, and what I did and what I believed. But anyway, uh, I'm at that uh, that glorious, what, 18, 19 minute mark. All right, guys, so that was my take for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe. What's, what's the rigmarole? Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um... I'll think of a poll for this. You'll see it on the video. That's for Facebook. YouTube, you won't get a poll probably. But anyways, enough about all that. Coming at you raw, uncensored, uncut. No YouTube effects. Uh, pure recording. So, I love y'all. Hope y'all love me. That was corny. Alright man, I'm out. Peace.